I've been dancing Sir David Bentley's ballets since I was 10 years old, when I first performed the role of the young Kay in his ballet, The Snow Queen. In this film, I'm going to talk about three of my favourite roles in his ballets. Carmina Burana is a very powerful ballet for the audience, and it's one of my favourite ballets to dance. It's a really busy show for me. I think I dance in every other scene, and if I'm not on stage, it's because I'm changing costume in the wings somewhere. The Seven Seminarians in the opening scene is one of my favourite moments to dance. The choreography is alternately inward-facing and contemplative, and then outward-reaching and yearning. There's a brooding, intense quality, and the movement feels like it emanates from deep within the core. Like many of David's ballets, Carmina is very athletic and demands a lot of energy from the cast. I really love ballets where I can attack the choreography with every ounce of power I have, leave nothing left in the tank at the end. The King Dances holds a special place for me. I didn't dance a particularly featured role in it, but I was fortunate enough to perform an excerpt from this final scene of Buckingham Palace in the presence of our patron, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. Stephen Montague's music is stirring and triumphant, and I know that all of us were in perfect unison that night. The footage here was filmed from the wings of the Hippodrome stage, and you can really see the whites of our eyes as we concentrate hard using our peripheral vision to try and stay in line. This is another of David's ballets which is exhausting. At this point in the ballet, I'm still out of breath from the previous scene, in which I'm dressed as a demon, and we torment the young King Louis character. I then have what I'm sure is the quickest costume change in our entire rep, including a wig change, to try and regain my breath and composure in time to look calm and assertive here. Still Life at the Penguin Cafe is a long-time audience favourite, packed full of moments which have become iconic. I think it's a really complete piece, it's entertaining, thought-provoking and really original. I remember watching it as a child, I think we had a videotape of it at home. Last time the company performed Penguin Cafe, I danced this Brazilian woolly monkey solo. It's another really physically exhausting role, especially under a full head monkey mask but at least no one could see the faces I was pulling underneath. After the solo, you take the mask off, right in the centre front of the stage, and you try to look wide-eyed and enigmatic while the sweat stings your eyes. And you try to remember to count so that you start the next piece of choreography at the right time. In this clip, the role is danced by Matthias Dingman, and I think you'll agree he's really fantastic. 